Once again, I'm in Orem, Utah at an abandoned steel mill site. It used to be called Geneva Steel. Geneva Road is to my left towards the mountains that way. And before that, it was USS Steel, United States Steel, which was the steel mill in Youngstown. So I'm going to pipe down and show you the sights. Here's an old concrete pad to something. I don't know the layout here because I never really saw this steel mill when it was running. But here's what's left. <clears throat> Directly ahead of me, my cam, my cell phone cameras pointing at Mount Tipinogus, Wasatch Mountain Range. And here's where part of the steel mill used to be. I remember when they were dismantling Republic Steel in Youngstown, Ohio, the blast furnaces. And boy, they had a pile of scrap iron and copper within quarter of a mile, within a half a mile where I grew up. And I remember that pile getting bigger and bigger. And who knows where they sent that metal? To China, to Europe, who knows? But here's what's left of the steel mill here in Orem, Utah. Big chunks of concrete. Old rebar. I'm going to pause and do a close up on that concrete building, what's left of it, dead ahead of me. Piles of concrete and rebar mixed in. There's another part of a foundation or a concrete building. Once again, there's Mount Tipinogos in the background. This does remind me of Republic Steel in Youngstown, Ohio, because there are still some of the shells of the buildings standing in Youngstown but here they dismantled everything all you got left are the foundations the large chunks of concrete and they're chipping away they're making it useful for uh, paving roads grinding the concrete down so you could use it in paving roads base material See, here's some big steel. Chunks of concrete and rebar. I keep saying that. The river is that way, Jordan River, and that's Eagle Mountain. Okay, I'm gonna pause and go across the street here and show you some more area where the steel mill used to be. All right, I'm still on the old steel mill site. They're developing it here in Orem, Utah. And as I... Okay, I'm still at the steel mill site, Geneva Steel, in Orem, Utah. And directly ahead of me is a ladle, part of a ladle. They use that making the steel here. And just like Youngstown, Ohio, there's a small pile of scrap steel ahead of me. When I saw them dismantling the steel mill, 
and the blast furnaces in Youngstown, Ohio. I grew up three blocks from Republic, Republic Steel. The pile of scrap metal was much larger than this. But I saw it at the beginning and the midpoint of the operation. Clearly here, they're at the tail end of the operation, what those are called. But yes, this used to be Geneva Steel. Boy, that's out of focus. Steel mill called Geneva Steel. This used to be part of the steel mill. I don't know exactly what this was called. You can see the concrete cylinder here. Once again, this reminds me of Republic Steel in Youngstown, Ohio. This road is newly paved. It might have been here two, three years, but once again, <coughs> banks, restaurants, but this is called the yard, and I'm gonna step off to the side. There's a lot of construction going on, but it's hard to see, and I'm gonna walk towards it, but dead ahead of me is another steel ladle. All right, here's that big steel ladle. Yes, you call it handles or however they poured the steel but there's my backpack right on the left is my backpack you can see how big this thing is <laughs> 